So you might ask, how the heck do you value property? Well, there's a few, a few ways I go about it, but basically, obviously closed sales you wanna look at, which we call comparable sales of homes that are similar in the area in the style of home that you're looking at. Um, but I, I don't stop just right there. You gotta look at the pending sales. You have to look at the active sales. You know, what's your competition? How fast are homes closing? You have to know trends in the market. You know, is the market going up? Is the market going down? Is there something that's manipulating interest rates? Is there something that's manipulating, you know, potential taxes in the future? And, you know, and then you gotta go into, you know, just little pockets of neighborhoods and see that different streets might sell higher than this one. So we're constantly doing all these adjustments. And the longer I've, I've been doing this, really I know that there's, there's really an art to it that, um, you kind of just have to experience to know and doing this year after year after year you know you really start to ingrain a lot of different um, ways to kind of price property and sometimes it's black and white sitting on a piece of paper sometimes it's really in that gray area and you're kind of going with a gut feeling but realistically there's more than just hey what did home close for and that's what i'm going to list my property at so that that approach typically doesn't work um, there's a lot more factors that go into figuring out what price you should list at